Thank you very much, Honorable Bacchus, for accepting the invitation to attend the Ministerial Alliance for 2023. It's a pleasure to have you. And I just want to thank you for your steadfast commitment and support uh, for the CTO. I know you've always attended uh, our events right from 2020. I remember you participated in our HR and ICT event and it's, we appreciate your support. So I just have a few questions for you. And I know this is the second day uh, into the Ministerial Alliance uh, event. So I just want to understand, um, you know, based on the deliberations from yesterday, how is this event going to help you? Or how, how has it helped you? Or how is it going to help you going forward? Thank you, and, and thanks for the invitation. And of course, I always support the CTO in its endeavors. Uh, a strong CTO is a benefit to all of us. As far as the, the what is happening here, we, there are significant advantages to having this in person. I think that is one of the first things I want to say. That meeting people again, seeing people you haven't seen for a long time, the spontaneity of the conversations, I think is, is absolutely key and important if, if, if we are to get the most out of events like this. As far as how it's going to change, this is a call to action. This is not a talk shop, it's, it's a call to action where we've all, this great assembly of ministers and dignitaries have come together to be able to uh, identify issues that are affecting all of us, look at what is common among them, look at what is different among them, but also find things that we can implement with some level of immediacy to start to alleviate those problems. And that is the real key to what we're doing here. We, Yesterday was great. I, I think people really outlined what they, they spoke honestly because describing problems that are issued in your country is not something that you know, people are very comfortable doing. Yeah. But people were open uh, they, and the, the call for innovative solutions to it. It's not the run of the mill. Well, we want less money or we want more money. It's not that. It's about us seeking to be as innovative as possible, as creative as possible in finding solutions to the problems that we all have. Thank you, Honourable. Um, I think it's interesting, you know, just to hear, you know, the, the, the appetite. I mean, several ministers that I've interviewed are all talking about, you know, the, the, the need to see impact, you know, for tangible outcomes. It's like people, they no longer want to, you know, attend events just for the sake of attending them. But at the end of the day, you want to see impact and be able to measure that impact. So the second question for you would be, were your expectations met? And if, if not, what do you think should be done next time? Expectations are strange things. Um, uh, if you ask when when uh, we first heard of this, when it was scheduled previously, then we schedule and now it's happening. Uh, did I think it would be a great event? The answer to that is yes. Uh, you know, I guess I want to answer the question by saying my expectations for what was going to happen here was very high and have been very high. And yes, they have been met. Uh, we have we have been able to, uh, in a very collaborative and very open way, uh, discuss the things that are uh, really important that will affect all the members of the Commonwealth and basically the, all the members of the world. Uh, and the solutions that we're coming up with and will come up with as we proceed through the end of this day, I think will redound to the benefit of the global population. So, yeah, they have been met. Thank you for that uh, answer, Honourable. And so the last question, actually it will be in two parts. So the first part is what would you like to see coming out of this meeting and would you want this meeting to occur on a regular basis i'll answer the second one first it should be on a regular basis i think uh, if not in person but there should be interventions with a uh, a fairly more regular cadence for this type of gathering that's one uh, two in terms of what i think they should be held so we should have uh, at the end of this, uh, a plan of action. You know, we are going to do this, we will do this, we will do that. Uh, measures associated with that. 
not that whether it's been achieved, whether it's not been achieved, but also what progress is being made. And that's why having meetings at a more regular cadence could measure that. So it won't be that when we come back the next time we have it, well, we wanted to do this, but it didn't happen. It must be that we have a, a statement of intent, actions associated with it, a methodology of how we're going to do that, and that will develop in time, but we should at least have the, the idea of what we're doing. And, but also that we, we have something that is going to allow, or a mechanism that allows us to measure that progress towards achieving the goals that we've set. Those are the things that I would like to come out of it. Thank you so much. I think it is so encouraging to hear you mention these things because they align to the vision of the the CTO, the strategy that we have in place. You know that you know we want to see, we want to see change, we want to see impact. You know, and so it is so encouraging to hear every minister talk about this. So all I can assure you of is that um, the CTO is here to work with ministries, to work with governments, the private sector, to bring all stakeholders together so that we can tackle all these issues and challenges that you have in your countries. And I thank you so much for your time and thank you for attending the event. Yeah, let me say thank you to you as well for, for having us. Thanks to the CTO and all of your sponsors for, for putting on what has been a first class event uh, from beginning to and, and continuing now. And I look forward to uh, further interventions of this type. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable. Well, that was good. Oh, sorry. Keep my jacket here so I look good.